Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stocks. Well, should I'm going over Mew. Mew was one of those trades that you look back and you say, gosh, I'm so glad I held the conviction with this. Mew was a gap up. It was a bullish gap up. So I'm going to go back to the day here because it was Thursday. Back to the day. It was the 19th. Actually, let me blow this up. So this was on Thursday, okay? Stock gapped up. It was gapped up on earnings. I liked it. I wanted to go long, and I said, this is great. I love it um, as a call and actually an, an equity trade. But it was rough going out of the game for all of the trades that I called in it because the stock opened, dropped, fell. So there was a stop in this, and then the option trade price just swung like um, like spiked and then shot right down so if you got in this out of the gate for the calls or did the day trade um you were down in this or got stopped in this right away because of the spike and then the drop through so we got stopped in this here but i liked it i held the conviction i held the conviction i talked about it and talked about it and talked about it in the room and I think, you know, talking it through while it's happening, when I'm calling the trades live, it helps me, it helps the people, it helps everybody. But I think I was the only one that really had as much conviction that was that was in this and in, in, uh, in the room on Thursday. Anyways, then it reset up. So we got back in, then it rallied, then it rallied, then we took more, and then it went. It went up here, tried to give a little bit more room, dropped off. But anyways, long story short, this did not get to 56, which I thought it would on Thursday. It did, however, get to 56 the next day. And some people actually held. The, I called the calls expiring the 20th. Some people held in the last day. The calls then were up into the rally there, but then they were up more, obviously. And then where did, did this get to 56? I think that it did. Oh, 53, 55.93. Yep, look at that. So, anyways, this was a this was this was a nice bullish gap, but a lot of people lost conviction in this because the first trade stopped, and again because the option trade fell right off before it went, and then I sent an email out actually to help people to add to the option because I knew the price was lifting. Anyways, when you when you're trading some days, it's super duper easy, like FDX, boom, boom, boom. It does exactly what it, you want it to do. It's perfect, it's amazing, it's fast, it's a lot of money, it's like fabulous. But that's not every single day trading, okay? So that's why I have a system and I follow the system and I don't deviate from the system and I hold the conviction for the system because the system tells me that this is gonna work. So some people did not do the second trade in this. Some people took the first stop in Mew and then didn't do it. But if you did the first trade in Mew and got stopped and retook the Mew, whether it was initially or later even in the day, this went on to work. This was a long, okay? And you can even see the how this acted the second day, how it opened and rallied up here on Friday as well. But the fact is that the system is what tells me it's a long, and you just don't question it. You just don't question it. You 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 can't you can't be questioning, 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 and second guessing yourself, or you're gonna have a hard time becoming successful. So one of the things I give myself credit for is I hold the conviction, which is in the system that tells me that the golden gap rating for Mew was high. It was over 20 points. And you can see here now, the stock is higher. I mean, here it's a little bit more obvious, but to me, I could see that beforehand. Anyways, it was a nice gap on Thursday and a really, really nice play all around. Nice day trade and a nice option. So it will be interesting to see where this goes into January 2020 of the next earnings. It was not easy to do, but we held the conviction and it all worked out. If you're interested in learning my system in the Golden Gap class, the next class is January 11th and 12th. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.